Hello everyone, good morning, good morning everyone, Ho hope you all are doing very well and your exam preparation is going on smoothly and however if you stuck with anything, I am there to help you. So for that, this is Ezaz Geta and you need to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so whenever we release a video, you will get the intimation and while if you get any doubts then you can write in comment definitely will come with a solution of those question or whatever your demand will be they will try to fulfill it so share with your friends also and in this video exclusive one question is done like uh, it is a model paper of 10th 10th standard sslc released by Karnataka board this video is, I mean, this problem is for three mark, three mark. And let us start the solution of this. Let us read the question properly. There are 20 terms. Okay, 20 terms are there total. Sum of first term and sixth term. That is first term and sixth term. Sum means plus. Sum of the first term and sixth term of the progression is zero. Okay. The fourth and fifth term of progression are two. The fourth and fifth term of the progression are two and six. Find the AP and also find which term is 62. We have to find AP and you have to find that which term is 62. Like AN they give 62 that is N is equal to question mark. For that we need to find A and D. Here A1 is nothing but A, A6 is nothing but A plus 5D, am I right? A plus A will get 2A plus 5D is equals to 0, am I right? This 2 we added, right? It is equation 1 we can, A4 is there, we can write A plus 3D equals to 2. The question is right, right? They did not give sum of right here in the second part. They did not give sum of the fourth and fifth term of progression are right now. Sum is not this, and that is why they gave the fourth is two and fifth is six. Right? So a phi is nothing but a plus 4d is equal to 6. Yeah, that is what my question like we already got here two equation and that equation for what purpose? Correct. Uh, there are 20 terms in the AP why they said like okay let us see solve it we'll get an idea this is equation 2 this is equation 3 so from 2 and 3 a plus 3d is equal to 2 a plus 4d is equal to 6 minus 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 3 minus 4 is minus D. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Minus minus cancel. D is equal to 4. Now take any one equation from 2. A plus 3D is equal to 2. A plus 3 into 4 is equal to 2. A plus 12 is equal to 2. A is equal to 2 minus 12. A is minus 10. Right? A is minus 10. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> now we have to find AP. Right? So here if I write AP is A, A plus D, A plus 2D. Okay. A is minus 10 minus 10 plus 4 minus 10 plus 2 into 4 minus 10 minus 10 plus 4 minus 6 2 for the 8 minus 2 will get correct this is your ap okay done this is done find the ap we have done and also find which term of the progression is 62 so that part will do now which term of the progression is 62 which term is 62 so we will write 
an is equal to a plus n minus 1 of d this is 62 a we know minus 10 and n we don't know and this is d is 4 right here we'll take this here so we'll get 62 plus 10 n minus 1 into 4 this 4 will come across so we'll get 72 divided by 4 is equal to n minus 1 so 4 ones are 4 ones are 4 eights are n minus 1 is equal to 18 and 1 will come here n is equal to 19 so which term is 62 19th term and there are how many terms are there 20 terms but don't know why they have mentioned this but we have found okay whatever the question was asked by them which term is 62 and find the ap so yeah done right any doubt in this any questions on this anyone hope you all understood if you have any doubts question any uh, any step you did not understood write in comment we'll explain that whole sum will explain again otherwise thank you so much everybody